Hi everyone, it's Sandra and a lot of people watch me put some beautiful leaves in my worm bins and the comment I get is I don't want the critters that come along with the leaves. So I'm going to give you a tip on what I do to reduce the chance that you're going to carry in any slugs or slug eggs with some beautiful leaves and you can see that beautiful big leaf maple in the background behind me. So stay tuned and I'll give you my tip only early July but you can already see that our maple is dropping leaves. We are in a drought and these are crunchy dry leaves that will drop from now until quite frankly until the fall hits and the leaves turn color and drop normally. These leaves fell from the tree onto our driveway so they have never been in touch with soil or moisture of any kind. They come straight down on the tree onto our driveway. So here's what we do next. Landon's using his leaf mulcher to suck up these leaves just as a demonstration here. You could also run them over with your lawnmower or simply put them in your bins as is. I use these leaves for my worms and the leaves on the lawn get sucked up with the lawnmower and into the compost. Landon empties them out onto the driveway and he actually puts them through the mulcher one more time. And again, normally he does this in much larger batches. After that, he empties them into a container that I can then use for my worms. You see that we are needle challenged in our backyard. So those are our pine needles that didn't mulch totally. But in between that are lots of maple leaves, those dry leaves that are anything from a powder to little tiny bits that the worms will love. So there's no chance of slugs on these leaves and it makes the best bedding ever. Thanks for watching and bye for now.